that would that'd be a shame. Be. What if they all turn into Spider Man? And if everyone's super. Oh. And he said, I'm going to take the four aces and I'm going to shuffle them up a little bit. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Shuffle them up a little bit. Okay. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is to take the top card and just set it next to you. Right? Mm hmm. Now you can take the other three cards and set them aside anywhere you want. Make sure they're separate though, but just one at a time. Set them away from this card. Okay. This is your card. So set these ones like away from the deck, away from the cards. Take this one wherever you want. I'm gonna put this one here right next to the camera. And last but not least. Okay. Make sure you don't look at it, good? This is your card. Okay. But we're not going to flip it over yet. Okay? Mm hmm Now, first, what I'm going to ask you to do is to give... Or, no, don't give me. Think of a number between 1 and 12, but don't tell me what it is. Okay. Okay. You have that number in mind. Yeah. Now, just really quickly, uh, because this is known as the birthday trick, I need you to tell me what your birthday is. November 17th. November 17th. That's right. So... Let me just think real quick. Okay. So then your magic number is 20. Now, I'm going to deal cards down. Okay. Right? And I'm going to keep dealing. And you're going to, for each card I deal, you're going to add one to your magic number. To, or sorry, to your number that you're thinking My of. My original number? Your original number until it reaches your magic number, which is 20. Okay. Right? So... Yes? Yeah. Okay. So could you go, do me a favor first and just tell me what your number was now? It was nine. Nine. Okay. Go ahead and flip over your card that you chose. Okay. The Ace of Clubs, right? Yeah. So what if I told you that because you chose that card and you chose the number in your head between one and twelve, that you would have the nine oh. clubs on top? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Stories of Dishes. <laughs> I am Eduardo. And I'm Jeremy, and it's good to be back. <laughs> Here, hit me the other no, cards no. real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have all the aces? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. No, I don't. I'm missing one. Which I do put, I put one right here. Put one right here. Yeah, you put one over here, I thought. No, 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 I put it right here. Found it? Right here, and I, you picked it up and gave Why it Why do you only have three? <laughs> I'll be back. you lose my ace. <laughs> this is a good trick, until we lost the aces, but we found it. <laughs> All four aces. <laughs> we found the aces. So, as a returning gift, I give you, and you, Jeremy, a book that we had actually talked about. But I lost the video. And yep. the audio. Yep. I feel like we're going to end up doing a couple of those. Um, oh, no. There are so many, like, kick ass. There's a lot of my videos that I'm going to have to redo, yeah. probably. Let's see. Deceased. Uh, Kingdom I think Come. I have the audio for Deceased. I think I have the audio. I don't have the video, but I have the audio. You lost the video, but not the yeah. audio. Because I, 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 I scrambled them up. Why? I tried to scramble them up a little bit. Not scramble them up, but, like, fix it later. Because uh -huh. the, the fucking... Oh, by the way, yeah, this this story of the issue is gonna be language. This story of the issue, this new revival is gonna be a little more mature, because <laughs> we're both adults now. We're we're adults. <laughs> we're adults. Don't say it like a pedophile, God. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit more mature, because now we're both adults. <laughs> when am I gonna get a break? being called either a pedophile or some kind of sexual monster and you stop dating underage girls <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> she was 17 it's fine i was 17 too no you weren't <laughs> yeah i was oh that's right. right you turned 18 <laughs> turn into 18. that's right <sighs> it's romeo and juliet um <laughs> this can cut
God, so hard. Yep. <laughs> One. I think, I think, I think, returning gift and a new revival for Stories with Issues, I will be talking about a book we've already covered, kind of. <laughs> Spider Island. It's part of huge, ongoing, well, over Dan Slot saga that started in 2007 and ended in 2018. Is that Chung Chi? That is Chung Chi. Oh. And Amadeus Jones? I'm name? not sure. He doesn't show up in the book. Oh, what? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure it's Amadeus Cho, because if I remember correctly, he becomes the Hulk at one point, but he also... That was in late 2014. This is, takes place in... This is beforehand? This is, takes place in 2014. It's 2011. Oh, okay. So then, no. 50th anniversary. Almost. Actually, yes. Cloak and Dagger are very important in this book. Kind of. I like both of them. Because like they're... They're part of... So this book... This fucking book has a lot of times, which is why it's so big. This compendium. It's... It has amazing spider it has Venom, it has Cloak and Dagger, it has this amazing Spider-Man like previews, preludes. And this so there's a lot of things in this book. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff. It has Deadly Foes of Spider-Man. So in Cloak and Dagger I actually like they're the first person who find out about what's going on. Mm -hmm. Then 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 they're kicked off the book. Because in their in their own tie-in series, they have like they switch powers. Like they switch power. Yeah, Cloak has to has can produce light now. And the dagger is like absorbing it now. Cool. It's it's cool for you. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, I think that's cool. <laughs> they didn't matter. I would love to have at one, either of their powers. That'd be super dope. But and they're like in Spider Island when it happens. Yeah. So, like, they're neck deep in spider people. Because that's what this is about, actually. Spider Island, everyone in New York turns into. Well, let's jump into the book. Yeah. <laughs> so, there. You can start looking at it. So, during the story, this takes place during the ongoing Dan Slot saga, which was sitting up forever. He's been, he started in, in November. Uh, no. He started in. When after one more day, brand new day, Dan Slott jumped into the book, and but here, Peter Parker's doing good, <laughs> which is surprising because like, I'm sorry, this this picture. I'll put it up later. Yeah, does I really, really quick question? Do you think Reed Richards could act actually like hang himself? No, I don't either. Because his neck after would, looking his at this. neck would like. Start stretch. This is a messed up subject. <laughs> Why is Hulk so big? Why is he so big? He's like a giant. He's bigger than he normally is drawing. Yeah, that's Humberto Ramos drawing. Oh, that's fair. Humberto Ramos loves to identify ag everything. Over exaggerate. Over exaggerate. Thank you. <clears throat> so the story starts. Peter Parker's doing good. But it starts with a tie in, Infested, which is like a some part series where we see some scientists experimenting with bugs. Mm -hmm. Dead bugs, actually. Remember that big bug craze in 2010, 2011? Well, this is what this is about. So, <laughs> we see how these bugs started to infecting people. And these people start getting spider powers. So we first see, like, like right here, we see biting a kid. And kid, this kid is bullied at school. So we think that the kid, the fat kid, who the kid who got his, is the kid who got bitten. But actually, this kid snapped and brought a gun to school. And the bully was actually the one who was bitten. His spider sense went off, and he smashed that kid's face right into a locker, killing him. Killing oh, he the killed? kid. He killed the kid. So it's like, oh, what happens if like Spider Man was like. Flash Thompson was the original bit was bitten, which is hap it had happened, but it's like it's cool because he if? killed. Flash Thompson was actually in a What If series. He was bitten by the spider, and he murdered Peter Parker. On purpose, kinda. Dang. So now we see a house that's on fire, and this father is freaking out 
he has no idea what to do and Spider-Man's not there yet. So he's like, I gotta protect my family. So he grabs his family, burst out, out of the window with spider powers, revealing that he has spider powers. And they're like, Spider-Man? Like, and then Spider-Man, actual Spider-Man shows up and it's like, I got these guys, don't worry, isn't anyone else in the building? Trying to assess the situation. And so like, that's, we're seeing people with spider powers. But we also see bad guys with spider powers. So Cloak and Dagger show up. And I think this is before she can, she they switch powers? It is. She's using like, so, there are some some villain is jumping. It's like he's there after some guy, and then he suddenly just starts. He blasts out spider powers like spider moves out of nowhere, and Cloak and they're like, "What the hell was that?" I've only seen someone fight like that, and that's well, that's Spider Man, mm -hmm. and the Jackal's like observing everything, and the Jackal. The jackal's creepy looking mother ever. The jackal is, 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 is so in the, mm, in the 70s, mm -hmm. he cloned Gwen Stacy mm -hmm. to have sex with her. Gross. <laughs> and he also cloned Peter Parker and that, and, and that ended with a whole can of worms. Now we, we're seeing like Spider-Man with Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, who, when we did this episode originally, didn't have a movie. And no one knew who he was, but, but now, now we everyone knows who he is. Now we'll, we'll make the title of the video Shang-Chi gets spider powers? Question mark exclamation point. And everybody will click on it. That, that's a, we're gonna, no. Yeah. <laughs> so we see Spider-Man. He doesn't get spider powers. <laughs> I don't like this cover. I really don't like this cover. <laughs> Here's the thing. I like it, but it's also... Super... Power people. That's a thing in this book. Is they, they don't. Can't, they yeah. don't get power. This is the definition of clickbait, man. It's Umberto, it's Umberto Ramos. Come so, Shang-Chi. Right Spider-Man lost his spider pass, his spider sense. During an event called... During life of matters, matters of life and death. Mm -hmm. When the scorpion killed uh, Jonah's wife. Mm-hmm. I don't remember her name. I swear to God. Marla. Marla Jameson. There, there she is. It just popped up. Back Marla. Here. Marla Jameson. <clears throat> she killed Marla Jameson. And Peter Parker lost his spider sense during that fight. Against the scorpion. Mm -hmm. And now he's like... Shang-Chi was like... Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to fight. Because you don't know how to fight. You've been cheating. This whole time. And Spider-Man's like... Yeah, it's my spider sense. Like, so he takes some finger spider gloves and... Spider booties, and he makes like he develops his own technique of martial arts, and Spider Man's get really good at it. But also, Madame Webb, Julia Carpenter, shows up and is like, "Good, he's gonna need this for what's to come," aka Marvel's version of Morpheus. Look at her. <laughs> that's that's just she's a, she's Madame Webb. She's a character who's okay. Been, it is a <laughs> character in a full leather jacket with literally Morpheus glasses. The difference is like it just makes a symbol of a spider She's on so the reflection. But literally Morpheus glasses in no no in a kung fu dojo. She can see yeah she can. She's see. Morpheus. Well, Dan Slott saw the Matrix. Of course he did. <laughs> I love comic books because they so steal we, everything. So we, we, we take a flashback to see Aunt May's, like, an experience that she had with Peter. Right. Uh, where Peter was, like, screwing around the street and then a car almost hits him. You could have been killed. And he's, he, she freaks out on him and says, you're not my mom. It doesn't matter. Why do you care so much about me? And she's like, I am your mom. Like, I, I always be your mom. But she's like, why oh, Peter Parker's being a fucker right, right now in this moment? Because he just we got saved. But we see this because... Marla, no, J. Jameson Sr. Mm -hmm. and Aunt May are moving to Boston. Why? Because you know what happens, what never happens in, in Boston? They don't attack, superheroes don't attack Boston. So they're, so they're moving. 
-hmm. And Peter's like, his sign of agreement. J Jonah doesn't know. It's not taking it. Right. Jonah's mad about this. Why? Because he's mayor of New York City. And that looks bad. If your own mom doesn't want to... If your own, like, father and... Stepmother? Stepmother. Is... They're moving out. That makes Jonah yeah. Peter's uncle or cousin. Brother, cousin. Brother, cousin. I uh, know. Um, cousin. Yeah. It, aunt May is literally his aunt, right? Not not great aunt. I think it's revealed here that in this issue that since the Parker are di died, she's legally her mom. Well, yes, but biologically, yeah, yeah. Is it aunt or great aunt? It's aunt. Aunt. Okay. I know it looks like a great aunt. So then cousin, <laughs> cousin brother. Yeah, literally cousin <laughs> brother. Yeah, but like Peter's like reminiscing while helping Aunt May move out, reminiscing with Mary Jane about why it's a good idea for her to move out because like this house is where like yeah there's a lot of good things happen but dr octopus was here i was, still love that issue when she tried to marry aunt may she's like but he's just in full costume yeah you know that's how peter reminds it because was that a 90s event that was a 70s late 70s, 70s the vulture that, that came here sense. to my house to attack me because he thought he uh, Spider-Man lived here. Venom came here. Because he knew Peter Parker was Spider-Man. The Green Goblin took me out of here. On Spider-Man's suit. Like, full-blown suit. This house is dangerous. This place is... New York is not safe for Aunt May. So Peter Parker's like... But also, go, Mary Jane. And to show his agreement, he gives him a, a, a Red Sox hat. Hmm. And she's like, what the frick are you doing here in Queens? You can't give me this. You can't wear this in Queens. Because, mm. <laughs> yeah. So we skip to... The clone? Is it the clone? It's not. It's Her name is something. You can look it up. Look in, but she was the, the retcon clone, clone for Gwen Stacy. And she was murdered. And I think she didn't mean Shows up right Who there. drew this? <laughs> that was comic book writers are perverts. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> I already knew this guy. M Mink Osterberg. Yeah, he sh got, she got shot in the the boob. Jace, Joyce Delaney. Joyce Delaney was the original clone. Mm. Who was a messed a girl who got messed up by the jackal to make it look like a clone, but it, the jackal revived Kane. Oh, thanks. Kane Parker, who right. was the original clone for Peter Parker. Right. Who was messed up, had a degenerate disorder. And turned into a spider. Ish. Kind of. No, this is just... But he, when he died, he was turned into the other. By the spider god. So now, we, the clone... I forgot the spider. The jackal is telling us, um, like, Kane's origin as we're moving forward. And he was killed in Grim Hunt by Craven's family. So he brings him back to life. And Joyce Delaney... Is here. No, a clone, the origin, one of the clones of the ja of Gwen, mm -hmm. made by the Jackal, is here to kill the Jackal, so he doesn't wreak Hagbok on another clone saga. Yep, which he did a few years later, written by Dan Slott, but whatever. So now, Kane is turned into this monster, which was oh, known tarantula? as the tarantula. The tarantula. Okay, good. that's the tarantula. I was like, that's what he looks like. So, Joyce Delaney. No, the clone, we're gonna call, I'm gonna call it the clone because I don't want to deal with the whole mess of clones. Yeah. She starts attacking Kane and she's revealed to be this gross monster because clones, when they get, when clones start dying, mm -hmm. their bodies melt. Mm. So that's what happened to her. That's what's happening to her. Fight creates a fire and Basically, Jack the the clone uh, Kane has a has a, a, cho a choice to make, mm -hmm. and throughout the whole time, the Jackal's talking like, oh, "I could be the father that I never was," and like, "You're my, you're my child, you're my son," and, and the, that kind of got into Kane's head. Mm -hmm. So she let he lets the clone die and saves the Jackal, cause daddy issues. 
because he's Peter Parker, you see. He has daddy issues. Mm -hmm. So, and some mysterious figure talks to them. It's the queen. The, the spider queen. Spider queen. Yeah. So now, the actual event fucking starts. You see why I hate tie-ins? No, actually, I like tie-ins. Oh my gosh. Tie-ins tell you a lot about specific characters. But like, it's yeah. telling us, That's Peter Parker's having a good life. This is also drawn by Stefano Caselli. Uh-huh. It's awesome, looks great. But then also, it's not dance a lot. It's not Umberto Ramos. Who's drawn, who draws the huge bulk of the book. Meh. The epilogue and the, the prologue and the epilogue are drawn by Stefano Caselli, but the, the, the bulk of the book is drawn by Roberto Ramos, which is amazing. But have you seen Greg Capullo? <laughs> Capullo is dope. dope. He drew Hell. He drew Spawn. Oh, he did. He, drew, right. he did drew Spawn. They're also doing a series right now called Demons. They just started that I'm interested in. So, Stefano Caselli, okay, so Peter Parker's life is going good. He's working, he's an Avenger. He's also... A Fantastic Four member because Johnny Storm died and he his last dying his last dying wish was to leave give his spot on the Fantastic Four for Spider Man because they're they best friends. Become the future foundation. They become the future foundation. So now, but they're also like calling themselves the Fantastic Four. Yeah, because it's just weird. Because it's just a name. Yeah. So Spider Man's stopping a mugger and it's like, whew, that was annoying. So he's using. He has a job, a Star, a star Labs. No. Star Labs. <laughs> <laughs> the logos are similar, okay? Uh-huh. He has a job at Horizon Labs. Verizon? Horizon. Can you upgrade my phone? No. And he's using technology no. from Horizon mm -hmm. to, Im to improve his crime-fighting shenanigans. Interesting. So... He, he goes fight Hydra Man and he throws a spider tra tracker and he's like, what's that gonna do? I'm here. You see me right here. It freezes. It froze Hydra Man. <laughs> and the spider buddies, the spider man, Firestar, uh, and some useless characters are like, show up. Firestar was in the Spider Man of His Amazing Friends. Yeah. And who else was in that show? Iceman. That's Bobby right. Drake. Yep. Which is weird because he's an X-Men. <laughs> he's his amazing friend. So Peter Parker is using his spider suit and he makes... He, he, he turns into a hologram. Not a hologram, like a... It's a hollow suit. Which basically, it can turn into any suit, but it's not working correctly. So he just... It just turns to black. So he puts a shirt over it and a pair of pants. Mm, okay. And he's like demonstrating the, the technique that he just used on Hydra Man to his boss, Max Morel. They're like, he freezes a, a, a box of Worm? worms. And they're like, oh, you killed him. I don't know. Flips it back on. And they're just right. So he's going back to work. And he's talking to Carly. And Carly's around some muggers. And the mugger just pushes the cops out of the way. Like Spider-Man. Carly is his girlfriend. Carly is his girlfriend. They've been dating for a, for a while now. Yeah. They're going steady. They're, I think they're living in the same apartment. Mm -hmm. They're living together. And Spider Sense, Carly's Spider Sense just goes off, grabs the guy's foot, knocks him down. He's like, Peter, we gotta talk. Something weird's been happening. And he's like, oh, shoot. We have to talk. I know what that means. Damn it. I'm gonna get broken up with. So, just a lot of. So the Jackal's been gathering spider people to make a, a group, a band. The Fantastic Four are leaving town. Mm -hmm. So like, Spider-Man's basically on his own right now. So he's trying to like, connect to some people. So he goes, Ben Grimm actually invites him to poker night. And Peter Parker's like, okay, I feel like you guys do this a lot. How come I haven't been invited to any of these? And they basically like say, you talk too much. We don't usually deal with mind readers or what your spider sense basically is. It can alert you of danger. But now Which that you're true, like but, it actually can. But help now that win. you're rich, we kind of we kind of want you. We kind of want your, some of your money, so we're gonna risk it. 
Spider-Man's like, damn it. So he has to leave. Because but also, to... it's also partially because he doesn't have his spider sense. Yeah, it's also he has his spider sense. Literally Morpheus. She is literally Morpheus. So he has to go to training, Sorry. and she's like, so like, you have to train, you have to be better, you have to cross a line that you would never have crossed before. And it's like, shut up. You keep, you always do this, and it, it annoys the shit out of me when you do this. So stop. And she's like, but, because she's all mystery. Mm -hmm. She's all like, she's literally like annoying. So annoying. She's all mystery. Morpheus. <laughs> And he goes to work. No, he goes home. And Carly's like, okay, I have to tell you something. And then we cut to the jackal working on experiments. And he says, oh, I've always wanted this one. This one's perfect. It's just what I've always wanted. It's Captain America. How did he get Captain America? The queen gave it to him. Oh. It's not she... revealed. It's not revealed until later in the book. But it's, that's, this is the king, the spider king. Mm-hmm. But Captain America was a uh, queen villain, and now that, so, she's basically saying, now that I have these two, these are my, my spider, my, my the spider king and the tarantula, and now they're my sub subjects. So now they're wreak havoc on Spider Island. Right. And now that, all spiders. And Peter Parker wakes up and like, what the hell? Wait, next issue, so, what the hell? Why are you in the roof? She's like, I have spider powers. Like, what? How? What? Why would you? What are you doing? What are she you doing? doesn't know that he's. She doesn't know that he's spider. Yeah. Like, why would you tell me this? Because you're my boyfriend and I love you. Mm. Because if mm. I was going to tell anyone, mm. it'd be you. And it's like, oh, I feel like a dick. But now that you mention it, um... <laughs> no, 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 no. Because she's... And she's in love with Spider-Man yeah. as well. Like, not Peter. She loves Spider-Man. So much as she has a tattoo of Spider-Man. Like, right below, above his, her crotch. Mm -hmm. And Sp so the Spider-Man and Spider-Gang are getting together. And they wreak havoc on New York. They basically start gathering people and New York is a mess. At the same time that Peter Parker's dropping off Aunt May at the, at the airport. Because Peter Parker's an idiot and doesn't notice sometimes that the city's being destroyed right above his, like, his neighborhood is being destroyed. Well, he would know if he had his spider sense. No, he wouldn't. Well, the thing, the joke on here is like, no, he wouldn't. Mm. But like, kind of. So, Mary Jane is like freaking out. Because Dan Slott doesn't know what to do with her. You can maybe see me shitting on Dan Slott a lot. I want you to know that Dan Slott is my favorite writer of all time. But even I, as a fan, I have to admit, like, some things I, don't agree, I do not agree with. He, one of the things he said one time, that Peter Parker and Mary Jane's marriage is completely on Spider-Man. On Spider-Man? Yeah. How so? It's completely against Spider-Man. I'm against the marriage. It's like, wow, okay, damn. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so the Avengers. Just, you're not just wrong, you're stupid. <laughs> no. So Spider Man, she's freaking out and she sees Spider Man coming out. And on. She's like, oh, Spider Man, think how you hear. It's like, yeah, you want to make out? It's like, some dude, some random dude. Gross. On a Spider Man costume because the Jackal gave Spider Man, like, this, his gang, a Spider costume. Why? Because. Screw Spider-Man. And also, I have them around because the next time I want to do the next clone saga, so I gotta read, I gotta dress up my clones. Hamilton. Yeah. There's a girl <laughs> with a Hamilton shirt. It's a it's a guy. That's a guy with a Hamilton shirt on. So Ben punches a guy and it's like the Avengers come in, mm -hmm. and they're like, also most of the guys from the Is cover. This the West Coast Avengers? No, they're the East Coast, because they're in New York. Yeah, I know, but like it's all. Lame characters that you it's don't know. It's all characters that you don't normally associate with the Avengers. Because the Avengers are a, the Avengers are a weird team right now. Yeah. Like Bucky is in the Avengers. <laughs> Bucky Cap. Uh who else? Iron Man, Thor, Wolverine. And, and Spider Man. Yeah. 
So Spider-Man's like, he sees the news on his phone and hears about what's happening downtown. I'm like, oh, crap. Carly's with me. I can't do this. He runs out of the car and suits up. And Jonah is the mayor. He's like, it's a citywide epidemic. Just fitting because mm -hmm. he hates Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And the Avengers are fighting New York. Jonah is trying to figure out how to get rid of the Spider-Man epidemic. You bet. That's some guy on the Spider-Man suit. Oh, it looks, it's the Venom suit. Though. Yeah. It's the cloth version of the black suit. Oh. They call it the black suit when it's not Venom. Yeah, so, but yeah. But Venom does keep that black suit symbol. Yeah. So the Wolverine, they're like the Avengers are fighting, and then Spider-Man jumps in, and the thing just knocks him on the face. And it's like, what the hell? And Shang-Chi and Madame Web are like, looking from above. Mm -hmm. Shang-Chi is like, are we gonna do something? Madame Web's like, I can't intervene. Okay, aren't I gonna do something? I, I, I'm gonna do something. Mm -hmm. It's like, so, okay. Spider-Man's like, beaten. And into the tie-in, which I'm not gonna go over it. Because nothing good matters. What we what we what we do learn in that time is that Randy Robertson, mm -hmm. son of John, Jonah, mm -hmm. had a fight with the Hobgoblin. Ned, specifically or no? Phil. Phil. Phil Urich. Oh, okay. We met him in. Ned is dead. Ned's dead. He was dead before he was revealed to be the Hobgoblin. Oh. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Ned, uh, Spider-Man's friend. Ned Leeds is, it was the Hobgoblin yeah. for, a, for a while. He's the real supposed... Hobgoblin. He was revealed by the Kingpin that he was a real Hobgoblin, but he was dead in Spider-Man vs. Wolverine. It's like the Zodiac Killer. Did you hear about that? Yeah, he was revealed to be a few... Gary Francis Post? Yeah. But he's dead three years ago? He died a few years, three days. But like... Ned died in Spider-Man vs. Wolverine. Mm -hmm. He was killed in, in their apartment. Slit, throat slit by, by Soviet spies. Yikes. And then a few years later he was revealed, no, he was a hobgoblin all along. Yeah. But there was also an, another hobgoblin. Mm -hmm. at the, well, while it was going on, so there are two hobgoblins. Roderick Kingsley and Jason McIndale. Three mm -hmm. hobgoblins. Jason oh. McIndale became... <laughs> Jason McIndale also became... The pumpkin, uh, jack o' lantern, which is cool. Then he became the um, uh, the hobgoblin again. He became the demo goblin, and it would all went spiraling down. I want to see a completely D and D based villain now. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> completely D and D based. Like I want to cover as my... an army of like goblins. Like it's somebody with magic, and they could use their magic for so much more. That's doom. No, 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 because. Wait, who? Doom. Doom? Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom. Oh, no, no. Because he's, like, all high and mighty. I'm saying, like, there's some magician characters who have basically really cheap, mad, low-level magic, and they just use it to do magician-based, like, heists and That's attacks. That's Mysterio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, like, imagine... But it's not magic. It's no, bullshit. imagine somebody who has, like, Loki level of power, but instead of using it like Loki would... He's mm. just like using it like it's D and D. <laughs> so he's just like army of goblins, Mister Meesey's box, like all no! these horrible. <laughs> Miss, only one person <laughs> will understand that joke, and he doesn't even watch that show. <laughs> he doesn't watch that show. He doesn't watch our show. Oh yeah. Screw you, Jorge. <laughs> <laughs> so Peter Parker's like. He got beaten by the Avengers, basically. He got knocked out. So he went to a, an alley, a back alley, and he takes off his suit because he doesn't know what to do. He does, he, they, kicked him, they basically kicked him out of the fight because we don't want to be fighting against our own by accident. Mm -hmm. So he's like, great. So Mary, he bumps into Mary Jane and Nora Winters, who's a reporter for the Fact Channel. Mm -hmm. And Nora is reporting about what's going on. Mary Jane looks at him and says, what the hell are you doing? Why aren't you fighting with them? He's like, listen, I guess I can't. They, they're gonna, 
I can't get I can't th get in the middle of this right now because with you. Think I'm the bad guy. And also, I don't want to talk to you right now. Why? Because we broke up, Why? and it's really awkward between us. So I'm not gonna. And then he turns to Nora and says, "Shoot me with the camera. Get me." And he jumps into a lamppost and says, "My name is Peter Parker. I have spider powers, like all of you." This, and when I see it. And when I see around you, because he looks around, it's the Peter. People are f just dodging. They're using spider powers to like get in the fight, right? But they're not doing anything. They're getting out of the way. So he's like, when I see New Yorkers, I don't see people, bad people with spider powers. I don't see. I see doctors. I see policemen. I see teachers. I see firemen. Good people. New Yorkers. And I need you to be heroes because today. You can all be heroes. So please get up, fight for your for your for your land, F fight for New York. And he uh, he uh, he got he has a spider army now. Mm -hmm. But Peter doesn't have organic webbing. And doesn't have a spider sense. So he has to act like he does. Yeah, because everyone else has organic right. webbing, and a spider sense. So he can't be the odd man out, because mm -hmm. they will definitely figure out, oh, this dude, that's Spider-Man. <laughs> so, during the fight, they, they basically clean up the crew in a, in a few hours. They get a report that at Horizon Labs, they're working on a cure for this. Because it's a real problem that has to be dealt with. Well, in the meantime, they got Reed Richards and the secret doc, the secret the secret scientist at Star Labs, who's been a plot point since the beginning of Big Time. Mm -hmm. they have, who is the secret scientist? It's Mobius. The living vampire. Spider Man is. Like, Reed Richard is working with him. They don't know, we don't know who the secret doctor is. We find out at the end of the story. And then it's set up to another story that Chance is doing next. Yeah. But. Basically, Peter Parker is. Yeah, I'm getting to that. That's. And then we see Humberto Ramos, they're working on the current, the Peter Parker leaves. We see Humberto Ramos running away from anti-venom. And he gets stabbed multiple times with this with anti-venom. And gets healed. And gets healed. Because anti-venom's cool. Cause it's, but he said it's Brock, so he's still a fucker. Yeah, but he's still cool. <laughs> and his he lost his spider powers. And Madame Webb sees hope. Basically, well, in the meantime, Peter Parker goes to the priest, to the 18th prison where Carly works, because she lost her spider, some spider, some webbing. She can't produce webbing because Peter was like, "Oh, you need, you need to, you need to eat more a little bit. You need to start your food. So it, it works out of that." It's like, how do you know that? Some friends with Spider Man. Some friends with Spider Man. And but he, he also, doesn't have organic webbing. He, did, he, he probably did at some point. And he, he had organic webbing. He did. He did, yeah. yeah. That's where the queen comes from, because she gave him the organic webbing uh, during Avengers right. Assembled. It's like, okay, so while you were, were eating here, Mysterio had, like, dropped some, there here are some fake Mysterio web, web shooters. Use them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the ones that, that Spider-Man gave me, because I also didn't, Eat well, correct. Like a few days ago. I can't say you said that Spider Man gave me. So we get reports at ESU that people are stealing shit from. Yeah. What? That's Venom. We're not going no, over that. No, it's not. That is Venom. That's Agent but, Venom. That's Agent Venom. I know, but the symbiote in that picture is not. Oh, no, you have this issue. I do. Yeah. Hmm. So they, they're at ESU where people are stealing shit. And right. the rabbit, the rabbit? I don't remember what this character's name is. I don't remember. And I don't care. It's, she's always used by just the a dance lot. It's not it's a rabbit, it's just a rabbit. I don't remember. So Spider-Man is fighting these people, and he's fighting really good. Mm -hmm. Like, way too good. Because he learned from Shang-Chi. No, no, no. Like, he's done this before. Mm. And Carly notices that. She's like, Okay, so she's a li she just leaves the fight because she's angry. So it's Cap Captain America, 
just dumb of her. I would like to say that real quick. She's a cop. She should not be reacting that way. That's really dumb of her. <laughs> just, you lied to me, but the city's in danger, but I'm still gonna leave because you lied to me. No, no, no. She, she gets called somewhere else. This patch called her somewhere else. Oh, okay. Okay. And she's That's not a, a cop. She's a forensic scientist. She's a Barry. She's Barry, yeah. From The Flash. Which, this is a lot like that storyline with Godspeed, I would like to say. Flash and... Flash, goddammit. Because I, I would, like, and I, if I was in either universe, and I was affected either by a Speed Force storm or a spider epidemic, which, by the way, I would rather be affected by a Speed Force storm, eventually all these people lose the powers, and that's so depressing. I would hate to be one of those people. <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, I have super speed. Godspeed kills me. All right, so like, the, the, the Spider horrible. King is fighting Agent Venom, mm -hmm. which we see in the previous issue, but whatever. I didn't, I'm, not, I'm not going over it. And spider people are like still wreaking havoc. And... What's with the robots? Those are Jonah's Spider Slayer army. Ah. Because he's a mayor in New York, now he has the money and the resources to create a Spider Slayer army. Which is weird, because the real New York mayor would not have that much money. <laughs> this is 2011 New York. Yeah. They're booming. <laughs> kind of. Not really. But it's they're a comic like, book New They York. found out that... Reed Rich, like, they find out, like, anti-venom is a cure. So, like, someone go get me anti-venom. Reed Richards is saying like that. Mm -hmm. Someone... And they get reports, like, anti-venom is just stabbing people left and right. I am your salvation. <laughs> Because Eddie Brock is a religious freak. freak. Well, that's the thing, actually. He found religion. Like, yeah, he's he's religious. <laughs> but anti-venom... Okay. The way the God that, of the on. No, no, no. The way that Cletus Cassidy's mind made... But here's the thing. Carnage. All, like, Carnage... The symbiote Carnage was already crazy. But then add Cletus Cassidy's mind into it, it made it freaking insane like it amplified it and then anybody else who wore hard afterwards was just as insane eddie brock was just like he was i would say even just a normal bit psychotic he, he was psychotic. In, like he was angry like no, he no, is, no he was psychotic he was psychotic yeah okay well still it was revealed that he was psychotic that the venom that the symbiote feeds all the psychosis the venom oh well and, yeah oh. that's why it breaks venom i know that but i'm saying for the anti-venom, like he's a bit religious. No, because anti-venom some... is not a symbiote. It's an anti-symbiote. No, right? it's like it's it's, it's not created a from at all. the. It's created from Mister Negative's energy. Yeah. On venom, like and and venom and Eddie Brock's cells. But I thought it was similar to Carnage, where it was created from white blood cells because no. of the negative energy. No. Venom is not Carnage is not created by blood cells at all. That Carnage is just a spawn, like an asexual spawn of Venom. Yes, but he attaches himself. Okay, we're going to look this up later. Because <laughs> I just like did a bunch of research on this, and I thought for sure. So Carly... Either way, it, he, became, he becomes basically Carnage, but a good guy, and it's weird. And I like so it. So Carly... This anti-Venom came out during Dan Slott's run. I know this shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking you're wrong about Carnage. I thought that anti-venom was because of the white blood cells and all that with the so, Mr. Negative stuff. Carly calls Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And she's like, so Peter told me, it's like, Peter's like, Peter told me you, let, you, you need me. He's like, yes, I need you to do this thing. And then, and he's eating as well. Mm -hmm. He's like, so she's she's so studying him right now. She's basically doing the detective thing where I'm like I'm studying you. I'm looking at everything you make you tell me to see it matches up, and if, see what you crack. Mm -hmm. And there's a police calling at the at a bank where Shocker has four arms, six arms. Why does he have six arms? Cut. You'll see. So Peter Parker's like. Fighting Shocker, or, usually, like wait, normally. Actually, no, scratch that. I don't care about why he has six arms. Why he has six gauntlets? Yeah, how did he... <laughs> he has extra. N but he magically made... Or wait, no, is that a skin? That's is a that skin. a skin? Okay, that's a skin. I thought 
for a second that he yeah, had a suit with extra, a suit with <laughs> extra arms. With like, extra like, arms. How did he get that that fast? No, no, no. He got it. He got the. He, he just got, he got, just got the shockers. Okay, that, that's a little bit. He pulled them out of storage. Yeah. He's like, Herman, the hell did you do yourself? Like, I get it. You want spider powers, but come on. Also, I would love to have six arms. Even if I had no powers with it, if I had six arms, why do you have? Dope. Why do you have six arms, man? And they started fighting. Like I don't care. And he took off his mask, and he has six eyes as well. He's that like, one I wouldn't Spider like. Spider-Man, help me! I don't want to be. I don't want to be a monster. Look at me! And then he turns into a spider. Like fully. Just like Carly. Hold on. Carly turns into a spider, and spi as no, a Carly spider does too. Sp as the Spider Queen says, "Now my spider army, rise!" Yikes. And Spider, like, during the fight, everyone starts shooting to Spider Power. Wait, to does spiders. Hawkeye? Yeah, so Hawkeye was the they, only one. This Hawkeye is, was the only one who got the yeah, so Spider Powers out of the Avengers because this is a run where he doesn't have powers then. Because in some, no, he doesn't have powers normally. No, uh, in in some versions of Hawkeye, uh, it de depends on time period and stuff. Uh, Hawkeye is actually enhanced. Okay, uh, but like, yeah, yeah, Hawkeye just got like, she got Spider Powers. And it starts turning into, like, ah, oh, guys, I love my new spider powers. Everything's going to be a great. I'm telling you, this is going to be a brand new age of, ah, oh, God. Hawkeye's way too cool to get this this much shit. I don't, like, it. Hawkeye's cool. And Carly so turns into shit. a spider, and she attacks Peter and runs off. And it's like, Carly, where are you? And then they all look the same. And they all look the same, because all spiders That's look... That's racist. Because <laughs> all spiders look the same. They're New Yorkers. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it does! <laughs> You're a horrible person. <laughs> so we start telling the story of the Spider Queen, of how she fought Spider-Man, Captain America, in the mm -hmm. 40s. She was, a, she was a Nazi, because... If you're a villain in the 40s, you're no, a Nazi. No, because the Nazis will get rid of communism, and she hated communism. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That was a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. So now that... And it's unbelievable that now Captain America is under her power. And that's right. the reveal. Like, this is Captain America. Why does everybody have the same belt buckle? Carly has that exact same belt buckle. <laughs> Shut up. I just want to know. <laughs> it's damn, it's, it's Umberto, That's Umberto. Oh, no, because when you... I think it's the hook. So, hold, 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 Let me show you. No, no, I know what you're. I'm, I know what you're thinking. No, look. I know what you're thinking. He's standing up, showing me a belt. He's not taking off his pants, though. It's okay. So the look. problem is, is it's connected. I know what you're thinking, but you can see the difference. This is straight up. Connected. Oh, so just a bit that I'm not finishing off the the, mm, the, the sketch. Okay, okay. <laughs> but it's like that in every belt buckle. Because it's easy. That's because it's it looks easy. great. It looks great. And I don't mind it. It looks awesome. I just awesome. wonder. Because it looks like an emblem. <laughs> like, a, like an E? Yeah. E. E, 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 E. So, yeah. So, people are gathering at a church who are like spider people. Like, they're turning into spiders. And then he saves them. And then he says, You, you think they, we heard that you can save us? And they're like, Yes! I will care care all of you! But I'm telling you... Okay, um, He's aside, at a church. From, He's aside in... from how... Because it is technically, because it works like a symbiote, so I must say it's a symbiote for a second. Because it doesn't matter who wears anti-venom, they're always obsessed with cleansing people, and it is because of Eddie Brock's mind. It is because he was slightly religious, added into the fact that it's an anti- No, he turned religious halfway through. Halfway through anti -venom? Yeah. Oh, well then- Halfway through venom and anti-venom. Did he have the anti-venom when he became religious? Yes. Because he I wonder was with if Mr. That Negative. I wonder if that influenced him then. Because he was in Mr. Negative. Because he got cancer. Yes. No, I know how he's created. Yeah. But Anti-Venom is obsessed with cleansing people because it's the opposite of a symbiote. It sees symbiotes as dirty. It's okay, freaking Okay, so we racist. find out... <laughs> but... We find... No, because he... No matter who wears Anti-Venom, they are always obsessed with that, is my point. And We've only... You've only seen Anti-Venom in two stories. This one, you go down singing... Bullshit, I've read my own stories, but... I don't ask me to name them. I've just ran, <laughs> read random issues. But, like, I have. God. Don't ask me to name them. So... We find... Jonah's fighting, basically. 
People are find out that public finds out that Jonah is actually a spider person as well. Wait. And we also find out that Wait, that he's not spider person. Because the, the less you use your powers, the more effect you have on. Oh, cool. And the more subjective you are to start like. I would hate to be one of those people because I would get not because I turned into a spider person, because my hopes would get brought up just like I finally have superpowers, yay! Right, but and it, I would use. But Jonah them so doesn't want to use them. Because, because he hates Spider-Man. He, hates Spider he doesn't want to be a menace. Yeah, but like, for me, I would use that shit just to like, pull a cup over. The whip and, yeah. yeah. I would use it like Spider-Man, just remote. Thank you. Well, You're yeah, late. I would, I would turn into a spider so fast. <laughs> you would turn into a couch potato fast. No, yeah. no, no. I would also be doing like the parkour stuff across the tops <laughs> just because I've always wanted to do that. Spider-Man like, teams up with Jonah and he's like, I don't like this. Right. Jonah eventually comes around Spider-Man, you know. Yeah. During... We've gone over that before. Yeah. So they're going to talk to Alistair Smythe, the Spider Slayer, who killed Marla Jameson. Right, So, what? and ask them all, they're interrogating him in a way to find a way to find more Spider Slayers, and he's the only one who knows it's it's Omni Man. No, because he's drawn by Humberto Ramos. <laughs> he not still Ryan, looks not Ryan Otley. The only difference is his hair is brown. I guess <laughs> white streaks. <laughs> but if mustache. My point is, and it's funny because yes, J.K. Simmons played. Yeah. No. Yeah. I know. Jonah and but here. If I had a Spider Man issue written, drawn by Ryan Otley, you would see no difference. In fact, <laughs> let me find one. Like you just have one that you yeah, know of? Pretty sure he shows up. Jonah shows up here. I mean, he does kind of look a little bit like Mark. No. Oh, yeah. That's why I hate this. Amazing Spider-Man 4 by, written by Nick Spencer with art by... The cover is drawn by Otley, okay? Oh, he does look like Omni. He Omni does look like Omni-Man. But see, I was right, though, because the only difference... Is his hair is black? Yeah, that that's because literally okay, because Ryan Otley drew a shit ton of Invincible. Oh, yeah, during like the big era of Invincible. So what they based the show off of? What they based the show off of was Ryan Otley's drawings. Mm -hmm. So most of the drawings from the show look like Ryan Otley. Okay, so Spider Man is interrogating. They're interrogating Alistair. Mm -hmm. And the facade of Jonah starts to crack. And it starts slowly like losing control and losing some... He sucker punches Spider-Man, turns into a spider monster, and he kills... Um, the Spider Slayer. He kills the Spider Slayer. At the same time, Venom fights Anti-Venom. Yep. Flash Thompson fights Anti-Venom. He Which, why does and he Flash venoms Thompson? out? Yeah, he ven venoms out. He venoms out. He goes full venom, and because he loses control of the moment he sees Eddie Brock. Yep. Because the symbiote still is in love. Has with in love Brock. with a love connection with Eddie. And Mary Jane is being persecuted in the street by spiders, giant spiders, and he hops into a wall and starts beating the shit out of them. Hops into a wall and says, "Ah, about goddamn time." Because she oh, said, I forgot the reason why. I remember this now. Because <laughs> the narration says... It's the same way she dies in the 99 future. 99 percent of all available con contaminated. Uh, the narration says that the reason why she didn't turn into Spider-Man is because of how many times Peter Parker and Mary Jane have shared a toothbrush. She created some antibodies for Spider-Man that held on onto the... It's the same reason she dies in the future. She dies in... It's not a future, it's an alternate reality. Alternate future reality. Yeah. But, uh... She... Is... Uh, I forgot the story. Someone's gonna tell me in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. The incredible spider scene. <laughs> so, Peter Parker starts fighting off Norman and he bites the neck off. Whoa. And... Skipping the tie-ins, because we don't like that. You don't like that. I don't like tie-ins, because they're unnecessary. So, 
Mary Jane is fighting. Now she has spider powers, but she's not a spider. She's just useful for now. She's gonna turn it. She's gonna turn it eventually, yeah. sometime. But she has. she's on the stage where I'm cool. Mm -hmm. Where I'm a cool spider person. She, this spider queen has no control over me right now. Which so, like, neat. Yeah. So we're starting to fight. Jonah's... Peter Parker tries to save Jonah, and like, Alistair, mm -hmm. and knocks out Jonah. He wraps him up in webbing. He's like, he's gone. I can't do anything about this. And they try on this... They, on Horizon Labs, the Spider Queen is getting more and more spider people. And we see it as one of the spider pe Peter Parker's friends who has spider powers got turned into a spider at the same time that they were testing the cure on him. Mm -hmm. They wanted her to turn in order to inject the serum created from anti-venom. Right. And see if it works. And it worked. And she started noticing, like, the Spider Queen starts noticing that we're lo losing connection. And we have a huge bat. A huge pool of cure. It's important later. We meet those, the the sci the secret scientist, which is revealed to be none other than fucking Morbius, the living, but the living vampire. Yeah. That was the thing that was I was like, God damn it, Morbius, <laughs> fucking Morbius. Ah, I think Mor Morbius is dumb, honestly. <laughs> yeah. He's not even a real vampire. I was actually watching the Spider-Man cartoon. We had the little suckers on his face and on his on his hands to Which suck is... your plasma. Yeah, because he's a pseudo vampire. But in the comics, he bites people. Oh, he actually does. Yeah, he does bite people. Is it? I, I bet it's just because the cartoon didn't like that. Yeah. <laughs> and also the comics go authority and whatever. Yeah. <sighs> Back to the fight. Peter Parker's like. They're not trying to. They're, they're not trying to kill these spiders because they're people. Yeah, it's the zombie dilemma. But it's kind of like, stop! No, don't. And it's clobbering time. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. They don't want to fight you. They don't want to fight anyone. Yeah. But they want to. They have to though, because they're getting trying to get. Because the spider queen sends them to the. To the cure to destroy it. Mm -hmm. And as soon as Spider-Man goes to Horizon, he hears about it, Spider-Man goes to Horizon Labs, where he's surprised by none other than the spider, the, the tarantula. And they, start, they start fighting each other. He doesn't know it's Kane. Oh. He just sees this monster fighting, and it's like, oh shit. So he has to start fighting, they, and he's leaving. At the same time, Horizon Labs are working on a, on a way to like amplify their sonar senses to get Spider-Man back. Their spider sense. Mm -hmm. They're fighting, and they're because Max Morel is like, and for me when I was reading this, I was like, are they gonna do it? Because Kane has him over the vat, about to dump Spider Man into the cure, and if he does that, game over. Spider, we lose Spider Man forever. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a comic book, but no, no, no. Spider Man loses his powers forever. Because that was a thing, that was a sign of stress during the anti-venom storyline, mm -hmm. where he got injected and he lost like some some portion of his power, right? Some strength. He had to recover that after a while, right? But like Spider Kane has him over the bat, and suddenly the senses go off, and Spider the, the they turn on the alarm the the, the sonar thing that re scrambles Peter Parker's brain. And his spider senses goes up for the first time in a while, and he wakes up. Because cause Kane actually knocked him down. Right, he knocked him out. Knocked him out. And he pushes, Spider-Man reacts, flips over, pushes him into the bat, and so, and Kane falls into the bat. And when he arises, he's back. Kane is completely turned back into a spider. That's not the page. Sorry. You monster. He's, and he's, Kane is back. It's like, and it's a perfect clone of Peter Parker. Yep. Because he removed two layers. Yep. He removed the degenerative disorder and removed the, the, the spider, the tarantula. 
So now he's a perfect clone of Peter Parker with the other powers and the spider powers. So he's now he's useful. <laughs> and the and the queen senses that. And she's like, what happened to my to my specimen, to my perfect specimen? What happened to the tarantula? And he kills the jackal with a sonar scream. She kills the jackal? A clone of the jackal. Of course. <laughs> and we jump into a time where Captain, where Agent, Agent Anti-Venom, Flash Thompson, fights, finds the queen and fights Captain America. Brings him back to life. And they both kill the queen. They fight the queen and kill her. And he jumped into back into Spider Island, where, and Horizon Labs, they're fighting like. Everyone's running back to see what happened, and Peter's like, Shh. took off his clothes, gave them to Peter. He's when they go there, Peter Parker's naked with Spider Man. In his underwear. Um, wow, well, pink. <laughs> and and, and Richards is like, Peter, what? Why are you? And Max Morel explains, going back to his big time, this is how Peter Parker likes to work. He likes to work in his underwear. He's kind of one of his eccentries. Because <laughs> in, in big time, I don't know if you remember, but he took off his clothes and started blasting his headphones as if nothing happened because he has a private lab mm -hmm. that only certain people can enter. So during the fight, he's like, okay, give me my suit back, Kane. Okay. Everyone leaves. Peter goes to suit up and he says, give me my suit. And here, he gives him the big time suit. I do Because, you know, that's it's a cool suit. Yeah. So the spider queen, was well, after was killed, it turned into a giant spider. Because uh, apparently that's what she needed to reveal her final form. A spider queen. She, she needed to, to die. To die. And... People are wrecking, here to wrecking havoc on downtown. I think it's Central Park. And Kane is going to, is left to fight. His mask was ripped off, Peter Parker's mask. So, and he's about to get killed until Mary Jane grabs him by the wrist and jumps into the fight. Yeah. Already. So, Peter has no plan. He has no idea what to do. Until he realizes... Wait. There's no way we, we. They find out that the that the the reason why the Spider Queen is so powerful is because she has control over so many spiders. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, if we get rid of the spiders, we cure everyone. But that's impossible. There's no way we could do. I would need like a thousand needles. Anti venom. I know what to do. No. We have no. We have the cure. Anti venom's dead. Oh, that's right. The antivenom was turned into the cure. Right. We, we would need a thousand needles. I know what to do. Let's go. They go to the precinct. To the precinct 18 to find Dr. Octopus. Millions of octobots. It's like, okay, I got the reading the reading scanner. My brain my brain patterns will connect in will link into the reader and send the sense of to, con to control all of the spider clones to the spider. The spider bots, now spider bots. Mm -hmm. Octobots, now spider bots. And the Avenger says, okay, fight the queen for as long as you can. Hold them off for me. I need an antenna. Let's go to the Empire State Building. So they head into the Empire State, the, the Empire State Building. And they Spider-Man sets up the connector, the, the antenna, to make as a transmitter. To, to use it as a transmitter. Puts on the helmet, the spider robots that start crawling around everywhere. And they're freaking out everyone on the horizon last as they enter. Get the get the the cure. I was he not a what? spider. The armor protects him, I don't know. <laughs> Cause he was affected by bed bugs. Yeah. The spiders Tony Stark doesn't have bed bugs. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> Saying, uh, you know, everybody. He would have to sleep to get bed bugs. That's fair. That's fair. So as they're fighting, Venom, they start realizing that some of the spiders 
are also turning into humans again because they get injected. Immediately turn into humans. They start noticing that Jonah turns into human. Everyone. Peter Parker has the biggest smile on his face. Mm -hmm. And Mary Jane's like, what the hell are you smiling about? It's because for the first time every time ever, I can save everybody. Mary Jane smiles at him and says, I love you. And Peter's like, what do you no, say? What did you say? What was that? There's nothing. So, throughout the event, does he have his? Throughout the event, Spider, this Madame Web was telling Peter that she's gonna have to, he's gonna have to kill the Spider Queen. He's gonna have to cross that line. Right. Spider Man's like, no, that's not, that ain't me. That's not what I do. Fuck that. <laughs> and so, she was right somehow. Because Kane. Because Kane, the clone. With the spot, with the other powers, is thrown in a he fast, has... in a fast boss, fast ball special by Miss Marvel. He's thrown into the bat mouth of the Spider Queen as she starts losing power from the Spider People being cl being cured, and she kills her. And all of New York is cured. Peter Parker, Mary Jane's T-shirt got ripped into the fight, so her body was showing. Mm -hmm. So Peter, Peter takes off his Spider Man, the top of his Spider Man suit, because you know it's a t shirt and a yeah. pair of pants, the skinny pants. He, so he takes the top off, gives it to her as they see New York cured. There's some part of the city were destroyed be because of the Spider Queen, but cured nonetheless. Everyone's saved. And the epilogue starts where this is the naked city and everyone wakes up naked as the day, as the day they were born. Yikes. <laughs> and basically, everyone's like embarrassed, especially Carly, because she has a Spider Man tattoo that no one should see. <laughs> she normally covers it up. Hercules is cool with it for some reason. Not for some reason, it's Hercules, of course. Because he has no but shame. Also, wait, I thought Hercules had powers. Shut up, we don't talk about that. This is flawed. <laughs> Hercules has no shame. Yeah, Hercules. <laughs> and everyone's like, basically the city. Peter Parker's like, called to work or no called by Carly. So she go he goes home. The like, Jackal is revealed that he's alive. Mm -hmm. She still. She's still like Spider Man. Yeah, she's still Spider Man. Cause it's like hours. It's been hours since she got her powers. Yeah. The other people were days. Oh, so she's still gonna turn into... Yeah, she eventually will turn. And Spider-Man's like, Okay, so we gotta turn you back into a person. She's like, cool. Let me swing a little bit. Before that. Because I want to enjoy this. Mm, okay. Basically, the city... Peter... Riz, Flash, Tom... Eddie Brock is responsible for saving the city. And everyone just says okay with it. Because Rip Richards went on TV and said, We got the anti-venom symbiote from... Eddie Brock, he gave up his life as a superhero to be a good guy, so he is responsible for this. Spider-Man's like, that sucks. I saved the city. Whatever. And Flat and Kane is leaving because he doesn't want to be in the same book as Spider-Man. He doesn't want to be in the same city as Spider-Man, so he's going to Texas. Yeah. Her. He's going to be the Scarlet Spider. In honor of Ben Riley. Jonah is drinking with Robbie Robertson, reflecting on what he did. Because he murdered someone. A, a, a villain. Again, yeah. Again, since it was Spider Island, they sip it under the rug. But Spider Man's like, people, instead of giving him. Now, Spider Man starts seeing the results of it, of Spider Island. Since everyone walked a mile in his shoes. They said, caring about him more, liking him more. It's another way of saying New Yorkers like Spider Man. New York loves Spider Man. Without actually saying New York loves Spider Man. But it's close. Yeah. So they start thanking him, like, hey, I'll see you around. And he goes home where Carly's bags are packed. Uh oh. He says, hey, what, what's going on? You're Spider Man. Yeah. He says, 
No, well, you, uh, I know how it looks, but I can't explain it. Spider-Man, no, no, no. Do not give me that shit. You're Spider-Man. And now you're lying to me. Like, you're straight up lying to me. I need you to say that. At least treat me with some respect. She's like, and Peter says, I am Spider-Man. How did you find out? <laughs> and that's like the most insulting thing to her. Mm. She's like, how did I find Peter is so fucking obvious. It's like the most obvious thing in the world. How did I find out that you're Spider-Man? And she's like, Peter Parker tries to explain to her, but she leaves. She just leaves the apartment. And he goes to Doctor Strange. Because in the retcon of One More Day, a moment in time, they reveal that Doctor Strange actually made a spell along with the extremist formula to erase everyone's mind and make sure that they don't remember that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. And, and also, they can figure out that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, unless Peter Parker tells them themselves. And in, then in that case, it's going to be like they have always known. So how did she figure it out then? Because he... And that's what Peter Parker's question is. What the hell, Doc? And he says, okay. You revealed your Spider-Man. It's like, no, I didn't. I would remember that if I if I did. The moment you took you you went on TV saying you have spider powers, that's when you revealed your Spider-Man to everyone. Now people can figure out that you're Spider-Man. And he went. Oh, so these, they don't know that they were, they don't remember Civil War. Yeah. But they can but figure they can out. they can figure it out. And Doc, oh, can I have another? <laughs> no, there's no do-over. This kind of magic doesn't work like that. Yeah. And says, so, Peter goes to celebration at Horizon Lab because they did a good job. Yay. And Peter steps aside with uh, Max Morello and says, hey, do you have any more of the cure? He's like, yeah, sure. What do you, what do you, here. And he's like, thanks. Grabs the cure. For MJ, I'm assuming? For himself. What? That's what Mad Mad Madame Webb says, and that the roof says, he, he's there, he's like, thinking about the, the cure. And Madame Webb says, you can take it, you know? The world has gotten more spiders. The web is gonna be fine without you. You don't need it. You, we don't need you anymore. Not we don't need you. You've earned your your your, yeah. your rest. And Peter starts thinking about it. That's fuck no. No. Like he was actually considering it. Mm -hmm. But the minute he he he, someone offered him to him. He's like no. The world it doesn't matter. The world needs me. I'm Spider Man. Right. And I'm always gonna be Spider Man. He says okay. But then you have to know, your 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 last days on earth are coming. You're gonna die soon because of this lifestyle, and it's not gonna be like in a few years. It's not gonna be in a few. It's not gonna be in ten, a decade. It's gonna be soon. She's obviously referencing Superior Spider-Man, because mm -hmm. Dan thought knew it at the moment. Definitely knew it at the moment that he was doing this. Yeah. And Mary Jane's like, he, she leaves. She disappears into the air. He's like, are you shitting me? Hmm. You can't explain anything else? You can't tell me like, hey, I'm warning you so you know this. No. You know what? Dr. Octopus. Fuck off. Watch out for that guy. I'm like, no, no, no. Get, 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 fuck you, Julia Carpenter. I hate you. You're the worst thing in my life. You're the mo the biggest pain in my ass. <laughs> and suddenly Mary Jane shows up. He sh she webs to him and is like, Hey, Tiger, what's up? Why are you so mad? Why are you so upset? It's like, MJ, you want to go out? <laughs> I have the worst day in a long time. She's like, I'm really sorry to hear that. I've had an amazing day, actually. <laughs> because I've been swinging around being, and I get it. I get you now. I go. And he's like, here, he injects her. It's like, he, he gives her the cure. It's like, now, he's like, why are you upset? 
Because I did everything right. And yet I still feel like I failed. The usual Peter Barker shit. He's like, really? They don't, and to, he says, they don't appreciate me. Like, are you kidding me? And she points over there at Empire State, you know, at Empire State Building. She says, but that's New York saying thank you. What is it? It's the Empire State Building. Light, the lights oh, up in the Empire State red, Building. red and blue. Are shining on Spider-Man's collars. And that's New York saying thanks. And that's the end of Spider Island. Yep. This leads on straight into Superior Spider Man. Well, basically. Kind of. There's a lot of issues in between. There are like 10 issues? Because this is Amazing Spider Man. Yep. 73. The Amazing Sp Superior Spider Man doesn't happen until 700. Yep. 30 issues in between, a few stories. Really cool. But it's one a big part of Dan Slott's whole run on Spider Man. And it's. Really cool. It's really dope, and I love this story. And I love Dan Slott's run. It's one of the best parts of. It's one of my, my best years reading Spider Man, and I gotta say, unfortunately, it ended three years ago. Mm -hmm. And it Spencer. hasn't gotten any better. No. <laughs> but this will always be a huge part of my of my memories, and I love this hit book. I love these stories, and they mean so much to me. Like the Watcher looking over. The multiverse. Cause I heard that line and it kind of broke my heart because I'm like, that means so much. But that's the return. The big return is through the issues. Expect more videos soon. Hopefully, I can. We can make it to 50 episodes by the end of the year. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. I don't think it's gonna happen. We're probably gonna get to like 30. 45, maybe. We're not gonna make it to 50, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. We'll see. But expect more videos. And this is Stories of Issues. Good night. Day. Afternoon. Whenever you're watching it. Bye. Bye. Also, they did um, Dagger Dirty. Like, like, why would they do that? I love that outfit. No, no, of course you love that outfit. <laughs> God damn it. But, like, come on. Why not just give her, like, this cool, just spider made because of... that's her outfit like normally it's just the dagger like this and then it's just a dagger up to hold her stomach on, what? we're taking see. a break to look no, at dagger's no, original costume on. we can put it no i can I, I have better ways to edit you don't know what i'm gonna do we can put it on the green screen now. no no jeremy no do not talk about how i edit because i know how to do okay, edit. okay okay <laughs> excuse me for having ideas uh dagger See? Images. I don't see. Hold on. It's the cut, and then the knife goes down to her stomach. That's dumb. That's always been the suit. That's <laughs> always been the costume. So when Why? they make it spider eyes, they add extra legs. It's so dumb. I, I don't like that. <laughs> that's always been her I costume. Like I feel like... Did you watch oh, this that, show? That's even worse. Why? Why does she look so young? She's 13 when she started. And her costume was like that? Yeah. That's not okay. I don't think she was 13. I think she was like 14 or 15. Because oh, that makes it better. That, that, that does it not make it. Okay, that keep going. Make... <laughs> it's the Venom symbol. No, that's the... Uh... Black suit side. Oh. Of the that's Why Venom is he symbol. wearing this? Why are you... Just because he's... he's... Yeah, yeah. Because that's his. Energy. <laughs> he has no suit. His yeah. suit is his energy. Yeah. Like Ben, he has no suit. His body. His body is a disc. Is, is normally Ben Grimm. No, no, no. This one's dumb. Yeah. Because she already, she already has, has a body. spider suit. I don't like this cover. I want to make that very clear. I really don't. I'm gonna like put this the cover, cover right here right now. I'm gonna show you what he. Might. Black Panther, Shang Chi. Even uh, flipping Iron Fist, like all of those are dope as heck. But Luke Cage and Madam Web, is that Madam Web or is that? No, that's, that's Spider Woman. Spider Woman. Oh, okay, sorry. Jessica Drew. Jessica Drew. The thing. Uh, all of <laughs> everybody else just sucks. This is horrible. Black Panther looks dope. Yeah, I said Black Panther. Because it's a Ben Riley costume. Mm -hmm. It's Ben Riley's costume. But Hulk, 
or whoever that is. I don't know who that is. That's a Iron Spider. He has a negative suit. Yeah. Yeah. This is so dumb. But I, I like how they match, like, how they make Spider-Man, like, how they synchronize Spider-Man and, what's his name? Iron Fist. Yes. Rick his Danny. costume's dope. And Shang-Chi's. Shang-Chi's. And it's actually very simple.